Morning. Well, you may be able to tell, or may not, depending on how it comes out on the camera, but it is very, very early. It has just turned four o'clock now. So I pretty much got up at, I don't know, oh, I was awake at about half two, it was ridiculous. But I decided to come down um, yesterday. I wasn't actually going to come out today, but yesterday my battery went flat in the boat. Uh, I've got some kind of power drain going on now. It's not the battery, because I've got two different batteries, so it happens to both of them. Whereas last year the boat was fine, it would, you wouldn't, I used to give it like one charge during the whole year when I was out there. Um, it does get charged off the engine, but it's only a trickle charge. So I've got to get that in because there's a bit of sketchy weather coming and I don't want the boat being out there without obviously a pump working. Aside from that, as you can see, see or may not see again, but it's actually like a mill pond, there's not a, a breath of wind this morning. And you think, well, wouldn't I be eager to rush out and go fishing? Again, yesterday we went out fishing, did all the pots, had three lobsters, so that was alright. But the actual fishing, I went mackerel fishing, and I caught one mackerel. And a long nose, or a garfish. And that was pretty much it. I went, like I say, for mackerel, and I then tried pollock. I tried for bass for quite a while as well. Absolutely nothing. It was dead. Uh, it seems the white bait have pushed off, or the feed the food that they eat. On top of that, I noticed the water's very, I don't know, I don't know what you call it, if it's plankton or, it, it looks more sort of seaweedy What in the water, very dirty, lots of these stringy bits and little um, jellyfish in the water, tiny little things. And I've seen this before, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, when we had that very dirty water again. Like I say, it's more like a sort of seaweedy stuff and the fish just disappeared. Now whether it's something to do with that, whether maybe the bait just moved and they're following the bait. Alternatively, maybe they want to get into clearer water. Because like I say, I've seen it before and I, I personally think it irritates their um, gills. And so they'd move to clearer water or cleaner water. So hopefully, with, if we are going to get a bit of a blow up, it might clear that a little bit. But anyway, I'm going to go out, change this battery and I've brought my fishing rods and I'm going to go and fish. Now I've come really really early because I need to get back in because as you see the tides, well I don't know if you can see, but the tide's coming up and so I need to be back in by mm, five or six so I've got an hour, one to two hours, probably say one and a half hours of fishing. So we'll give it a go at dawn, see if we can catch anything, might pull a couple of the uh, small pots but we're going to stay in the dinghy, we're not going to bother uh, using the big boat but first I gotta go and change this battery. We'll put a battery in. Right, so the pump's sorted. Or the battery, should I say. So it's got the pump working again. Although I did hear what sounded like a crackle at first, but the pump didn't start. And I'm wondering if the pump is the problem. It's more than likely water's getting on it somehow and it's shorting into the water and that's what's draining it over a period of a couple of days. So I'm not gonna do it now because obviously I'm time limited. I am going to change that pump out and get a new one put in. I've got one, so I've just got to fit it. Um, so we're going to go, what we're going to do here? Tide is coming in fast. Just obviously it gets deep and it's difficult locating the fish when it gets deep like this. They're normally in around the moorings if there's any. I say around the moorings, they could be at these moorings. They could be at Plymouth or Portlet. Could be over at Dweeda Muller, which is another bay over there. Um, but you kind of need to push up, especially with the lures I'm using. But what we'll do is um, we'll try, I think we'll motor out to the couple of pots I got first. Then we'll come back in, that way I can keep an eye on the, how high the water's getting. Now, it shouldn't be a problem landing, it's just when it gets really high, the beach gets a bit steeper and it can be a bit of a pain in the ass if you get like the waves because they sort of bounce off the walls or the motion of the water. But like I say, today shouldn't be a problem, not with the uh, no wind. It's going to be, I think it's a nine metre tide today, so it's big. It's not as big as they do get, but it's still pretty big. So I'm just sitting over some reefs at the moment, or rocks. 
I tried towing it, but I just kept picking up. There's a lot of weed because of this flat water. It just sort of drifts around, doesn't get blown anywhere in particular. I did see a little bit of movement, or a splash, over this way. Now I have caught bass here in the past. I had one of, oh, a couple of years back, it was eight pounds in here. But you do get pollock sometimes in here, it all depends. It has its moments. Other times, that's nothing. But that's probably like all fishing. So I've come over to do these pots that we've got here. We've just got a few singles in the bay still, so just gonna check them. Now I was fishing and then um, that happened. It exploded when I uh, cast it. That happens sometimes. More so when you haven't got a swivel on, but I did have a swivel on, so it still happens from time to time. And as I pulled the line through the uh, rod, it, it sort of lifted up and went over the side. And at the same time, it yanked the lure over and threw the lure over the side. The one that sinks, not the ones that don't sink. So it's going to be one of those mornings. This is how yesterday was going, so... This is why I'm not going out fishing today. But we'll have a look at these because I put these right down the side of a reef at low tide yesterday, so there's a chance there might be a lobster in. I've got no bait on me, but there should be enough bait in these to last a few days, I hope. Well, maybe not with all these spider crab in here. I can always go to the big boat if I need to get some bait. Oh, there's a lobster in there, tiny little thing with no claws. Uh, look, no bait. As soon as I say it, no bait. Right, this pot's going to have to come with me to the big boat to get some more bait. Then. I not bring any gloves either. But don't worry about these things. Check him out. Yeah. Bad crap. No, I'm gonna let it go. Let it go. And this one. Let that one go as well. Right, so I'm gonna put this one in the front because I have to get some bait. Hope the next one's got bait. Next pot. And this one's kind of dumped on a reef, just in the middle of nowhere really. Just came across it yesterday again at low tide, so I thought I'd shove a pot on it, see if there's anything on it. Probably undersized, but I'm gonna to have to take it over to the boat to check because I don't have my gauge with me. And there's still bait in this one, but ugh. Try and get it without touching it, otherwise I'm gonna stink. chunk of weed on the top of this one. Right, this one was in a different area. 
This is where I had them originally, we were getting the big spiders, but like I say, it started to thin out a bit with the spiders. So. We've got a little bit of bait in this one. Yeah, still got some bait in this one. So. Little spiders. It's a lot of small ones at the moment, not so many big ones now. lobster is actually on size yep it just makes it I actually expected that one to be under you can never tell sometimes they got like long shells other times they got short shells I think evolution in time they all end up with short shells <laughs> right Got some bait in that now, huge piece. It's gonna drop it somewhere. Now we actually have one more pot to check, and it's the lobster master, which I popped out yesterday. Now it's in a place I don't normally catch lobster to be honest, but I mean it's not far away from where I've had them. I've never been that successful in this bit. But I thought we'd chuck it here anyway and just see. Because things do move around. And there is one in it. Wow. That surprised me. Looks like a decent one too. A couple of spiders I need to get out as well. Spider. spider crab, another spider crab, crazy lady crab, and a decent lobster which I didn't even need a gauge for. Look at that beauty! Lobster Master 2000 strikes again. Oh well, didn't turn out too bad after all. I'm gonna put it right back where we are because I don't want to lose my mark. Well, I'm quite pleased about that. Like I say, I wasn't expecting anything here because I've never really caught any lobsters here. You get the... Ooh, almost lost that line. You get the... Um, obviously you're going to get lobsters here, but I've just never really caught any. Not in this spot. Well, that all changed. Now, often you hear me refer to not coming in on the high tide because it's problematic for the beach. Well, this is why. This is a line of rock that protects the bay a bit. It's obviously... There used to be a lot more boulders, I think, here, but they've moved around over the time. And the water comes through here. Like now, it's not too bad. You've got the rocks. I mean, it's obviously flat calm today, so it's not going to make any difference. But that kind of stops the waves, which come across, because you land over there on the slip. But the trouble is, the waves come through, they hit that wall, and they come back. So you get like a double action across that slipway. And it's a lot steeper at the higher part of the beach there, which means the water rolls onto the beach more as well and so literally you can jump in the boat you can go get washed left or you can get washed back sideways or just hit with a roller that drops in the back of your boat but normally it's only like I say an hour hour and a half from high tide so but you can get wet if you're not careful very wet
So there you go. It's now 5.30 in the morning. We've got two nice lobsters. We didn't get any fish unfortunately, but you know, can't have everything. Considering, like I say, the last couple of days the fishing's been pretty poor out in the big boat. I mean, I had three lobsters out in that yesterday. And today I've had two just literally going into the bay here in the little dinghy. So all in all, it's been a good morning really. Right, time to go home and get some breakfast. <laughs>